Look at us. Look at us. We're back. Look at us. I feel like we could be some kind of hot boy band. I'm not even joking about <laughs> oh, it. Really? Yeah. It feels right. Is it okay. all you're getting that vibe down? I don't know. Something. No. You know, we could be something. I don't know about a boy band. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Daniel, thank you so much for doing roll call with me earlier. You are the yeah, most incredible <laughs> sport. Thank you I, so I, much. I think it might have been the highlight of my career. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me the truth. Was that harder than filming Spectre? A the lot harder. Bit? Yeah. <laughs> what was wait, your favourite bit? Uh, what the roll call? Yeah. It's so many things. <laughs> yeah. um, um, it was uh, it was borderline traumatic and <laughs> lots, just lots of fun. But no, it's just fun, so much fun. So much fun. It was yeah. so. Uh, yeah. It was so great to do. Yeah. Thank you for being such yeah. a great. Sport. I mean, did Rami, I have a choice? <laughs> you did have a I know, choice. I know, I know. <laughs> Rami, we just yeah. went through some of the biggest blockbusters in movie history. Mm. I'm interested. What what films, when you were younger, inspired mm. you mm. to become an actor? Well, I think we both liked The Third Man. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Back to the Future. I loved. Uh -huh. uh, gosh, Forrest Gump was a big one for yeah. me. I loved all the Hanks ones. Philadelphia. Uh, and Ace Ventura. Oh, I'm action. with you. I'm with you. It was a big influence. Yes, no, no. It makes sense now. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Dan? What was the first movie that really made an impact on you, Dan? You can remember. The, um, the first movie was prob probably Blade Runner. That, that really kind of got me. Yeah. And I, our cinema around the corner was this tiny little cinema that nobody went to. And we used to get the prints like months after the movie had come out. Right. So these crackly prints had arrived. And nobody was in, in the. I, I sat in there on my own with my Kiora and my. Um, which nobody knows what Kiora is. Here. Well, I do. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. it is Kiora yeah. Adora. The Kiora, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, all, we all adore a Kiora. Yeah. Um, <laughs> No one's absolutely That's nothing. That's the most nothing. press. <laughs> what, you, what we've just done is the <laughs> most press Kiora has ever got in America. Yeah, yeah. 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 Real right yeah. Yeah. It's just basically orange. Like a little juice squash. box. A yeah. juice box it was a is juice what they box, call yeah. it here, yeah. And watched, um, <laughs> and watched Blade Runner. I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea what it was. So it was everything was just like, I was just riveted and I went, that's what I want to do. Did you, and how old were you at that point when you thought I want to be an actor? I'm trying to think. Um, it was 1980. Uh, uh, 1982. God, I wasn't even born. No. Oh. Right. <laughs> I'm joking. I was enjoying I was myself. Born. But, I, I was know. born. I'm joking. I was, I was very much born right, in okay. 1983. No. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, if we're talking of huge movies, look at this. Mm. Daniel Craig last night received a star on the Hollywood <laughs> Walk of Fame. <laughs> Rami, I know you were there. You spoke on Daniel's behalf. Pretty good, yeah. Now... What I loved, I watched your speech, and I loved... Um, I think this is the, the thing I truly love about you the most, is that in these moments, when there was thousands of people screaming your name, you become the most British <laughs> and uncomfortable with this sort of attention, <laughs> yeah, yeah. which is so... It's, everything about the Hollywood Walk of Fame is so opposite <laughs> to how we grew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did you feel when you, when you got this? I felt relieved. I mean, oh, listen, I mean, it's so mixed and having, you know, lived in L.A. for a while and been here for a long time, knowing what Hollywood Boulevard is and... But just to be near those names is incredible. Yeah. But you're absolutely right. I mean, I had to stand up there while people talked about me. It was just hell on earth. Yeah. And he... And this man here Thanks gave a me, lot, No, man. I know, no, no. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> he, this man here gave me the most beautiful and... I, I, it was absolutely, I mean, so moving what he said last night. But, of course, it was just like... It was everything a British person can't stand. Yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah, because in, we are taught to go, no, no don't yeah, be... That's yeah, not true, yeah, don't be yeah, silly. Yeah, Whereas yeah. I feel in America, they yeah, go, yeah. you're damn right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've earned yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And you grew up here in Los Angeles, yeah. Rami. You said that when you, you were a hustler, when you were trying to break into well, the business. What do you mean yeah, by that? In what way? Every job I had, it was like deliver pizzas and I'd stick my headshot into the pizza box. Wow. How, wow. Yeah. What, for How anyone? How was you get that? It? But I, you... I got, I think I got a, uh, yeah, I got an you audition got for, other? no, I got an audition. Oh, right. I don't think I got a call back for it. I think it was for like an M&M's commercial. Well. Wow. But I was just like, yeah, do it. I mean, what am I? Yeah, what do you have to lose? Nothing. But Nothing. hang on, you no. do it for anybody's pizza, or if you knew the address was somebody if... who worked in. Yeah, I knew show where business. like I knew where like Clooney lived, and and. Did uh... you del deliver a lot to Clooney? He likes pizza. Right. Yeah. 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 
We and, actually... and Andy Garcia. Yeah, oh. there's a few people. So you'd slip a headshot in. Would you say anything, or would you just they'd just they'd open a pizza and there's just? I try to get out of there as quickly as possible. Right. Yeah. And just We've actually you. got the headshot That's right the he here. Oh, Look boy. at this guy. It's like. I mean, he looked. He looked oh really? Now. I know. I gotta what tell you, kid. I'd yeah. hire this guy. Yeah. Yeah. You'd hire that guy. One hundred percent. Yeah. How old were you at this point? Man, like uh, teens. Early 20s, maybe? Wow. Yeah. And did this ever, with this headshot, did it ever work? Did you ever, you never got a gig from it or, or anything? He's still using it. <laughs> 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 I got a gig from that. You know, I used to, I, I bought a, I, I th thought if I bought them in bulk, they would be cheaper. So I bought like 500 of them. Yeah. Right? Of which I still have probably 420. <laughs> but I slipped them in every you know, manila envelope, sent them to all my agents. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. All the agents, nobody called back for a year. And then I, I got one call back from, uh, I submitted myself for a casting, and the casting director called me back. She said, hey, Can I speak to Rami Malik's agent? I said, Speaking. Yeah. And she said, <laughs> Yes, yeah, she goes, who do, uh, who do you, what company is this? I go, well, she goes, is this Rami Malek? I go, yeah. And she starts laughing. Rami Malek company. Yes, yeah, Rami Malek company. <laughs> yeah. She says, do you have a SAG card, honey? I said, no, but we can work on that. And she started laughing. And I just said, you know, I'm 15 minutes away from Warner Brothers. Bring me in and let's see how it goes. And I was very, just very presumptuous. She brought me in and that day. Call it, got the call back, and that was it. Got the gig next right. day. You got right. the job. I the got next the job. Day. Gilmore Girls. Gilmore gig. Girls. Oh, I love that. Yeah. That's that's a sensational Isn't hustle. It? Yeah. That's yeah. a hustle. Yeah. L let's not leave this guy out oh, because oh. come on. Look no, really... at Daniel Craig <laughs> right here. <laughs> I, I think I, I was a different type of hustler. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, do you, do you remember, Daniel, when you first came to Los Angeles? I looked like that. Did you? Mm. As a young... Like, did you get accepted straight away? Did things happen for you straight away no. when you got here? No, nothing happened. No, absolutely nothing. <laughs> I went home. Um, <laughs> How long? I arrived I, about six months after that was taken. I arrived in Los Angeles with ripped jeans. I, did, I, hardly, I nearly, nearly didn't get past customs. Because <laughs> they asked me at customs, how are you going to pay for your stuff here? And I had a debit card that had about... I think about 50 bucks on it. I right. mean, I'd like yeah. that. So they were, and I was like, yeah, no, it's got loads of money on it. And, and then they picked me up <laughs> at the, uh, the airport. This really nice Ukrainian, Ukrainian driver picked me up at the airport. And it was Halloween. But Halloween, you know, Halloween back home was, we used to dunk apples. I mean, yeah, I mean it wasn't like. Well, what it's it is for it. children. Yeah, yeah, it's for and children. Here, yeah, it's... it's for psychopaths. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <that's>, exactly. <laughs> yeah. We treat it as a nice thing for children, yeah. and here they yeah. treat it like some kind of yeah. national holiday. Yeah, yeah. Carry <laughs> yeah. Um, and there was a, I stopped at some lights, and this big pink Rolls Royce Corniche turned up with what looked to me like an eight foot drag queen in it, like that, with pink hair. And I just sort of was like, sort of staring. And um, she looked at me and just and went, <laughs> and floored the car and went. And the guy, and my driver just went, welcome, welcome to Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> and then I get took to the Sheraton Hilton. And the first thing they asked me was for a credit card. And, and I said, I didn't have to. So I had to call one of us. It was so embarrassing. I had to call one of us and say, ask someone to come out and bring some cash so that I could put money down on, on the room. Uh, and then the other thing is, I was at the, the Sheraton, and you know the Sheraton. It's, it's surrounded by roads. Yes, it's just freeways yeah. all around The only place it. I could go to was Universal Studios, which I went to three times. <laughs> <laughs> and now, look, from right. that yeah. to this guy uh, right here. Look yeah. at that. Dreams can yeah. come true. Stick around. <laughs> More with these two when we come back. <laughs>